I do this full time. Um, I was uh, kicked out of high school. Uh, I dropped out of community college. Uh, I don't even think you can drop out of community college. <laughs> I kind of just left that one. Um, but this is what I do full time, and I'm out here dream chasing. Um, and I like to take a piece of everybody with me to the next place I go. Um, so thanks, y'all, so much again for being here. Rocking out. I got one more poem for y'all. That's cool. Say yeah. Yeah. This next one is for my dad. Uh, my dad is an amazing man. Can we real quick make some noise for all the good men in the world and all the like fathers? <laughs> Dad is also uh, about this tall, um, and uh, he calls me up the other day. He's like old school. Any y'all got old school dads? Yeah. yeah. He calls me up. And he's like, George, today is a special day. Why are you laughing at my dad's accent? <laughs> You're cool. You know I was joking. Sometimes they're like, oh shit. <laughs> he's like, George, today is a special day. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's a secret. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why are you calling me then? Just tell me. He's like, George, today I get iPhone. <laughs> the other day, man, I bet you didn't even know you could make your font as big as he's got it on his phone. Like, all the homies in the back row, like, you could read everything <laughs> back there. Um, and so he's on a restaurant uh, for about. 28 years now, right? But for the last like three, four years, he's been doing pottery. Um, and it's very, very, very random. He calls me up the other day. Just keep hands, man. All right, hold on. So <laughs> act like I'm in pump. <laughs> <laughs> that was good? Yeah, that worked. How have y'all been doing? Y'all been getting good shots up here? <laughs> Let's try one right here. Can you get the Giamazal right there? I'm taking a video. Oh, you're taking a video? Yeah. All right, all right so you got to take a picture of me real quick. I'm going to put this on the gram. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you can see the Giamazawa right here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, what should I do, y'all? I'm just going to take a bunch. What's <laughs> oh, a good, like, what's a good? Superman. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Taking pictures, just everyone take pictures of me real quick. Uh, yeah. Y'all haven't no, seen it. No. <laughs> no I, didn't. Um, I didn't take that from him. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, my dad, um, he was actually diagnosed with uh, acute lymphoma leukemia in 2001. Um, raise your hand if you know anybody that's been diagnosed or battled with through cancer. Before. Mm -hmm. Anybody here? Yeah. So I think cancer is something that affects most of us. Yeah. Uh, we had a really, really crazy, rocky relationship. Um, but like I said, he, uh, he's, he's, he's been doing pottery the last few years, right? It's really random. And every time I come home, he'll be working on a piece, and he'll look up at me and he'll be like, I am an artist. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, Dad. Uh, but he always loved using his hands, right? And he would also leave marks on my face as a sign for discipline. And some may call them bruises, but I call them visible prayers. You see, my cheeks learn the lines on the inside of his palms like a road map to better behavior, but I was never good at following directions very well. See, when I was little, I took a piss in the garage because I was too lazy to go inside. I tried to blame it on the cat. He told me not to lie and mushed my face into my own urine. I never thought I'd be able to smell my own dishonesty. You see, his hands were so strong that one day he lifted me up on my innocence. And when he let go, I landed in a foster home without even knowing he did it. Finished the last few months of my fifth grade year with a family that wasn't even mine. Sometimes my emotions would explode like a gunshot and I'd watch tears race each other down to my jawline because it felt like my heart and his English were the only thing we had in common, both broken like a record spinning the soundtrack to my family's harmony. But when I returned home that summer and things finally started to get back to normal, I was told that he was diagnosed with cancer and I realized that things are just getting started. So while he was in the hospital, his hair began to wear thin like the line between discipline and abuse. My mother used to caress him like an instrument, plucking his hair strands like harp strings that were tired of playing love songs. The radiation showed in his gums. They began to bleed courageously like the stab wounds in Caesar's back. See, while he was in the army, he used to be a long range rifle shooter. At one point, he was the best in Japan. He would practice with patience and precision back when his hands were controllable. He would always tell me before every single match, he would chant and recite in his head, 
Zitani Katsu, I would win. I would win no matter what. I would win. See, when I was sitting next to him on his hospital bed, I saw the reflection of shooting targets in his eyes. His main aim was to live long enough to see his children succeed, but for some reason, while he was in the hospital, resentment was growing in my blood like a bad case of leukemia. See, his illness wasn't even a good enough reason for me to forgive him at the time. Now I get it, Dad. I finally understand. You were just surviving long enough to offer me an apology that I could properly accept. To construct the altar that I now pray to with the same hands that were used to bruise my faith. You still had to teach me what it means to never give up no matter what. Whether it's finishing a poem or surviving cancer. Dad, I promise Bukukatsu, Zetani Katsu, I will win. No matter what, I will win. How dare I resent the man that taught me how to pray when I know people who never had a father in the first place. Thank you for your broken English that reminds me I'm Japanese for the spots on your arms from overcoming cancer that remind me I'm still breathing and for all of those little things that nowadays he gives me haircuts. <laughs> and he claims that they're perfect every single time but every now and then he'll leave a patch on the back side of my head. <laughs> About the same size as the blue that used to leave on my face. But I just smile and take it as a reminder of how uncontrollable his hand 